tell you there is something about this church and this ministry. Just over and over again, God just doing some awesome things. Is there anybody else here who is a witness that God will bring you out? I just want to know because I don't, it's good to know the company you keep. Amen. And we are grateful to God for the opportunity to be a part of what he's doing. Please don't forget about our family and friends day. It's been called to your attention. It is very, very important that you participate in what God is doing, but more importantly, invite somebody to come. Amen. Amen. It's important because Family and Friends Day simply means that we give our family and our friends an opportunity to see what God is doing in your life. I don't know about you. I want to know where my children are going to church. I want to know what they're hearing from their preacher. I want to know the kind of atmosphere they are worshiping. Family and Friends Day is an opportunity to share with your loved ones what God is doing at Zion Hill. A lot of people here about Zion Hill, but they really don't know what goes on. Amen. Many of them, the only thing they ever seen is your pastor. But if you invite them, they get to come inside to witness what God is doing here. Amen. Amen. I don't know of any single day that I go out that somebody will not walk to me and say, thank God for Zion Hill. But then if you ask them, have you ever been inside the church? Some of them will tell you they don't even know they're welcome. Those are facts. Well, how will they know if they're welcome? Invite them to come. Amen. I mean, God is my witness. Every day I step out in the public, somebody will approach me and say, hey, I love what you guys are doing there. In fact, some of my associate people that hang around me, they get aggressive and they, they will ask them, why have you not come if you like what we're doing? But people really don't know that they're welcome. Some people think only the Baptist people can come. Some people think only the blacks can come. I've seen people that tell me they're all Africans here. <laughs> I say, huh? <laughs> so, the Family and Friends Day is an opportunity to invite people and share the blessing that we, we enjoy every day. And please let me give you another reason why you need to do this. The Word of God says, go by the highways and byways. The Bible didn't just say, you come. It said, go and bring others to come. So if we all do what God has commanded us to do, this house will be full every week. So I encourage you and I, I challenge you to heed the word of God concerning the Great Commission. And we're not going to do anything unusual. We want people to see us exactly the way we worship every week. And, and I can tell you one other reason, because I always think in threes. The first reason is because you need to let people know what God is doing in your church. The second reason is because God himself commands you to go out and compel people to come. And the third reason is that this church really have a very good product. What you experience here every Sunday, you can put it up with any ministry in this nation, Zion, he will stand. 
And because you got a good thing going on, then you ought to be proud of it. Amen. Amen. And you ought to be glad to share with the rest of the world. If we have nothing good, then I don't blame you. I'll be reluctant too. But that's not the case here. Just a few minutes ago, I just saw a barrage of young people walk around. Those are junior ushers. You're not going to see that in too many churches with that many kids. Those of you that missed church this past Wednesday, almost 20 young people joined the church. You are not here. I mean, God is doing some awesome things in this house. So we have so much to be proud of. Look at our music department. They're doing an awesome job. Every time you show up in this church, you see your children who are out of town. If you don't believe me, just call them. They'll tell you. Have you ever wondered why all these students are always anxious to bring their friends? Because you got something good. If your product is no good, believe me, they won't do it. Young fools are very honest. But many of them go to various cities. They call back to say they can't even find a church close to what God is doing here. So we are blessed. So let's share that blessing and fight somebody. Amen. Amen. And God will reward you for it. If you have your Bible, I encourage you to turn your Bible to the book of Mark, chapter 2. Thank you for all your prayers concerning uh, the, the show Always Joy. For those of you that don't know, uh, we have about 150, how many people are in Rapis Parish? 